All right, Shalom, Ka Hala, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Wa Ha Raka Kodash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying. This is just a quick lesson pertaining to Yahweh Shah being the redeemer of the elect of the nation of Israel. And I have that word redeemer in a simple Google, the definition, and it says a person who redeems someone or something. And that person is Yahweh Shah. And that someone refers to the elect of the nation of Israel. Yahweh Shah shall be the redeemer, all right, of the elect of the nation of Israel. So Yahweh Shah in other words, shall buy back the elect of the nation of Israel from sin, all right, to be saved here in these last times, all right. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 9, and verse 12, and it says, Neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood he entered in once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us, all right? And that's speaking of Yahweh Shai shedding the blood for the elect of the nation of Israel, all right? Being the redeemer of the nation of Israel, we cannot save our own selves, all right? Yahweh Shai is the only savior of the elect of the nation of Israel. Now, here's their word, redemption, the pronunciation, and the Strong's G. Strong's G 3085. Lutrosis. Lutrosis. And it says a ransoming. All right. Redemption. Okay. And Yahweh Shah, all right, is, is paying the ransom off. Okay. With his bloodshed for the elect. It says deliverance. So Yahweh Shah shall be the only deliverance of the elect of the nation of Israel. It says from the penalty of of sin and that's right through Yahweh Shai shedding his blood okay by us breaking the laws statutes and commandments of the most high and we still being under the law of sin Yahweh Shai's blood shall cover us all right in the day of judgment and we shall receive salvation all right from judgment being under the law of sin all right so let's go back since we got a clearer understanding of that word redemption here in Hebrews chapter 9 and verse 12, neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood he entered in once in the holy place, obtaining, having obtained eternal redemption for us, and that us is the elect, all right? Yahweh Shai gave himself up once, all right, first for his sins and for the elect's sins, all right, to be saved, okay? Verse 13 for if the blood of bulls and goats and the ashes of an heifer sprinkling the unclean sanctifieth to the purification of the flesh, 14, how much more shall the blood of a Mashiach, who through the eternal spirit offered up himself without spot to the Most High, purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living power? And that's what Yahweh Shai have done. All right. He have gave up himself. Okay as that sacrificial lamb in order for us to get these memories, all right, to get stirred up, okay, and us to come back to our pure minds, come back to the pure way, okay, for these mysteries to be revealed unto us in these end times, for these seals to be opened pursuant to the book of Revelation, the fifth chapter, for us through his bloodshed, all right, so we can do the things that's acceptable in the sight of the Most High, which is doing the work, all right, teaching the people, okay, Verse 15, it says, for this cause, he is the mediator of the New Testament. That by means of death for the redemption of the transgressions that are under the first testament, they which are called mighty, they which are called might, Salakia, receive the promise of eternal inherit inheritance. All right. And that's to the elect. And they're going to receive, receive the promise. All right, to uh, eternal uh, uh, rest through Yahweh Shai's blood. 
all right re re receiving um that that perfect promise to receive the law statutes and commandments to be programmed in us all right in our inward parts okay and yahweh shah is that mediator okay between the most high and the elect there's no way that you can come to the most high except for yahweh shah there's no way you can be saved in the day of judgment except for through yahweh shah all right so let's look up this word mediator because that's what yahweh shah is and this is that word mediator the pronunciation in the strong's g Strong's G thirty three sixteen, Mesites, Mesites, and the definition says, one who intervenes between two, all right, and that two is the Most High and the elect, because remember the elect fell away from the law, statutes, and commandments. Okay, so the Most High have sent Yahweh Shah, which is the way that the Most High set up for the elect to come back to the Most High either in the order to make or restore peace and friendship and that's right yahweh shah is restoring peace and friendship between us all right we being the hopefully elect lord willing we be a part of the elect number predestinated for salvation in yahweh shah all right he is that in between between us being the hopefully elect and the most high and he is bringing uh he's restoring peace and friendship all right through his bloodshed for us or form a compact or for ratifying a covenant okay so that's the role of yahweh shah being the redeemer all right being the savior of the elect of the nation of israel by his bloodshed to make us um be um suitable in the sight of the most high through his bloodshed okay let's get let's get the book of isaiah Chapter 52 and verse 3. And it says, For this, for thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, ye have sold yourselves for naught, and ye shall be redeemed without money. And that's right. We are going to get redeemed without money. The ransom has already been paid. And that ransom is the bloodshed of Yahweh Shah. All right. Let's get the book of Psalms, chapter 31, and verse 15, and it says, My times are in thy hand. Deliver me from the hand of mine enemy. And this is the cry of the elect of the nation of Israel. All right. Our times are in the hand of of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah, and we are uh, praying, which is begging uh, the Most High to send Yahweh Shah to deliver us out of the hand of our enemies, which is the so-called modern-day white man, starting with their top-tier elites, all right, which is the Red Hebrew Edomites, and from them that persecute me, and the so-called modern-day white man has persecuted Jake from the beginning, all right, starting with their forefather Cain and our forefather Righteous Abel, all right, on down up into this 2019 the year of karagma all right the uh, the so-called white man has been persecuting the so-called negroes latinos and native americans the children of israel from from the garden all the way up into now and this is our cry for yahweh shah to to come back and redeem us to the to deliver us from out of the hands of our enemy because we are in captivity right now all right regardless if if uh you two-thirds of the nation of Israel here or forbear. This is our captivity. And Yahweh Shai is the only one, all right, is going to be able to redeem us. All right, let's get a quick precept, the book of Baruch. All right, chapter 4, and verse 18, it says, For he that brought these plagues upon you will deliver you from the hand of your enemies. So the Most High is going to send Yahweh Shai to deliver us from the hand of this so-called modern day white man which is the red hebrew edomites we can't do it on our own all right examples been set in the past to let us know that we can't do it on our own all right for an example malcolm x all right uh, uh mega everest bobby seal all right uh, huey p newton on down to dr martin lucifer coon okay 
they didn't wait upon Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah to send Yahweh Shah to redeem us. All right. The scripture says if if this uh, uh, if this counsel be, be uh, uh, not be of the Lord, it will come to not roughly paraphrasing. All right. And that's what happened to all the ones that didn't wait on Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah for the deliverance of the elect of the nation of Israel. So the nation of Israel could be saved. OK. So let's get the book of uh, Isaiah. Chapter 44, verse 22, and it says, I have blotted out as a thick cloud thy transgressions, and as a cloud thy sins. Return unto me, for I have redeemed thee. And this is speaking to the elect, and only to the elect. Yahweh shot through his blood has blotted out uh, the sins of the elect. All right, if the elect come to who they are and wake up and come back to Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah is that in between between the elect and the most high and through Yahweh Shah's bloodshed the sins of the elect shall be blotted out in the day of judgment and they shall be redeemed all right let's go into this word redeemed all right in the Strong's H 1350 and the definition says to redeem, act as kinsman, redeemer, avenge, revenge, ransom, do the part of a kinsman. All right. To act as a kinsman, to do the part of next to kin, act as kinsman, redeemer. All right. So let's jump down to redeem by payment. Okay. And what's that payment? The blood of Yahweh Shai. Okay. It says individuals from death. Yahweh Shai is going to re redeem us from those thermonuclear missiles. All right. And the elect has been redeemed. All right. From the time when Yahweh Shai gave himself up to the Romans to be hung upon the cross to shed his blood. All right. The, the elect has been redeemed. And Lord willing, we be a part of that number. All right. Lord willing, I pray that this man edifying. Yahweh Shai is the only redeemer of the elect of the nation of Israel. All right. And we are in those times where Yahweh Shai is about to redeem the elect of the nation of Israel. Lord willing, we be a part of that number. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Ka Halal, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Waha Raka Kwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the men who taught me this truth. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect that scattered abroad throughout the four winds that's continuing in the work of our lord and savior yahweh shah and all fear shalom and abad babal